breakfast. So, no morning swim for me, but at least I can enjoy a good breakfast to start the day. God. That's all they've got to offer. How depressing is that? This is crazy. I've got to find some breakfast. I'm starving, and cold coffee isn't going to do it. But I've heard there's an amazing farmer's market in town, so I'm going to quickly check it out. What a lovely little place. I've heard David from Maison's Kitchen runs a food truck here in his spare time. No deep-fried calamari, I hope. I saw the line, I thought, uh -huh. wow. What are you serving? We got quesadillas, best in New Mexico. OK, brilliant. I have a little, little food truck with a buddy of mine, Chris. A little taste of New Mexico. This is one of our favorites right here, the cucumber lime. That's perfect. Little mint. But 100 degrees outside, that's perfect, right? Yes, it uh, great. My goodness. Man, that's delicious. So what's in the case today? Cheese, yeah. green chili, and asadero cheese. Here you are, my friend. Thank you. Mmm. That is delicious. Yeah. Now, David, that's better than anything I've eaten in the hotel. You know that. Yes, sir. Uh, delicious. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, the food truck is my creative outlet. It's a place for me to at least express my ideas without having any borders. Well done. I'll see you later. Thank and you, good sir. job. Thank and you, delicious. Sir. Enjoy the food, guys. Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling? Hope okay. I think it's important for you to understand the bigger picture. Okay. Yeah, keep in with me. Please, thank you. Kelly, this is some of your guests. I'd like you to share your experiences. Why don't we start off with you first, please? First impressions are, are important to me, and, and the, the very first thing I had to do was sign a, a cleaning waiver. And it, it just it makes the assumption that I'm not going to be clean. That assumption was it was just a tough first impression. Yes, a valid point. Waivers are for bungee jumps. At your peril. Uh, the whole thing for me wasn't to make you think that I didn't think that you were clean. It was I had someone come in and throw red wine all over the Venetian plaster, and I thought that I should charge them for that. But well, you're it punishing wasn't... every other guest on well, the back I of the sins mean... of one guest, and it's not right. You know, you can't penalize future business on the back of one idiot. So. It appears that there's no thought into what the customer is going to experience. For instance, um, the first thing on a hot day, you want to go into the pool. Um, and we looked out to the pool, and, it, and, it, and it's right now it's the same way. It's got um, a lot of leaves and it's dirty, so it, maybe it's not open, but how can it not be open? Yes, a valid point. Madam, please. We were in the lounge for dinner, and when you were singing, we couldn't have a conversation. It's just not appropriate for an upscale, intimate, fine dining experience. I feel like you're very focused on the performance, but you're not really focused on your guests. Very interesting. Sir? Anything that goes wrong with the restaurant when you're singing, you're too busy singing and not caring about your guests. I would pay you 100 bucks not to sing. As long as you are focused on your singing career and not on your restaurant and hotel career, my wife and I won't be back. I don't agree. I have quite a bit of people that come here to hear me sing. Guest feedback is critical. It's about turning that negativity into something positive. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a very special lady, Nilu Matamid. She is the features director and the senior correspondent for Travel and Leisure magazine. Nilu, um, give us a little insight to your stay, please. One of the things that we look at is whether a hotel has a sense of place whether it's maximizing the value that that beautiful setting that it's in has. You mentioned the pool. That's one great example of a moment where you have a potential great asset here that is being underutilized, and it's kind of underwhelming. There's a reason why hotel schools exist. So it's not a hobby. It's a business. 